Hey guys, so let's use the Google Tag Manager preview panel. So this is the debug view. And um, here we can actually see kind of where the tags are being deployed, what is triggering them, and how to properly debug your website. So let's do that. I'm starting over here in uh, Netliffy, and I have a few demo websites and also my own personal website. Let's click on this one here. So this is it. It's a thank you for your purchase page, just kind of simulating an order confirmation page. Now let's go to Tag Manager. And I believe it's this one here. So we can check if this is if it's this one. Uh, 5M C6. So it ends in CVJ. Let's go here. Let's use Tag Assistant. So this is Google's Tag Assistant. I'll put a link to this in the description. So remember, uh, that Tag Manager code snippet or the container ID ends in CVJ. Let's, let's uh, confirm whether that is true. CVJ, here it is right here. Google Tag Manager, CVJ. Excellent. We see all of our tags here. And we can see that that is the one belonging to that container. Wonderful. So now we're in here. So this is the Google Tag Manager container. This is the home screen. Here are all my tags. And let's get the URL of this particular page. Let's go back to Tag Manager, hit Preview. It's already there, but let's, let's paste it in since we've copied it. Click on connect. So we can see we can see that if we navigate around here, the debug panel shows us what's going on. So we can see the tags that have fired, Google Analytics has fired, a GA4 configuration tag is fired, a conversion linker tag is fired and a Google Ads conversion tracking tag is fired. Let's go back to Tag Manager for just a second. We can see the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. Let's click that. And what is the trigger doing here? So the trigger is firing on page view window loaded. So if we go back to tags, or if we go back to the debug view, we can see on DOM ready, no tags have fired. But on window loaded, the Google Ads conversion tracking tag is fired. And that's perfect because that's exactly how we've set up our trigger. Right. If we change this to, uh, for example, you know, DOM ready, it could fire, but we may not have aligned variables for it. So let's go back and see what kind of variables fire on DOM ready. Dom ready, the variables section here. What fires? Ah, this would work as well. So for example, for enhanced conversions, we have an email that's coming in, test at test.com, and it's pulling that from here. And here's our enhanced conversions user provided data, test at test.com. So we could also fire this particular conversion tracking tag on window loaded, or sorry, on, um, on DOM ready, and it would work perfectly fine. So we can change that even to DOM ready. Let's try it. Okay, so it's DOM ready now, because we've determined that the variables are actually coming through on DOM ready, and they're also coming through on window loaded. I just want to show you that if we change it to DOM ready, this will work equally well as having it fire on window loaded. Okay, let's do a preview one more time. So here we go. So on container loaded, Google Ads conversion tracking doesn't fire. On window loaded, 
it doesn't fire because that's not how we've set our trigger. We set our trigger on DOM ready, and there it is. Google Ads conversion tracking tag. And we can see here that the email is coming through, so enhanced conversions will work fine. Conversion ID is there, the label is there. This works fine as well. Okay, very good. So this was a quick example of the GTM preview panel for the debug mode, whichever you'd like to call it. This is what it looks like, and this is how you use it. You have your tags, variables, data layer here. And on this side, these are all the things, all the events that can be triggered. DOM ready. These are the variables that populate. Window loaded. These are the variables that populate. And these are the tags that fire. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.